Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making yet another recipe from this lovely book, Roll Dolls Revolting Recipes. If you missed the first recipe where I made Matilda's, actually it was Bruce Bogtrotter's chocolate cake. Amazing recipe. I will put the link up above and down below. Today I'm going to revisit this because many of you wanted to see more recipes. The BFG is this book. If you have not read it, it's delightful. BFG is an acronym that stands for the Big Friendly Giant, and this little girl Sophie here befriends the sweet giant. So in the story, the BFG introduces Sophie to a drink called Frobscottle, and I will share a little bit of that with you in this chapter called Frobscottle and Whiz Poppers. So what's interesting about Frobscottle is the bubbles, rather than effervescing upwards, effervesce downwards. And because the bubbles travel downwards, Frobscottle makes you whiz pop, which is giant language for farting. So the BFG delights in whiz popping, finds it delightful and celebrates it, and finds burping, on the other hand, quite rude. So this is Sophie's first taste. Have some yourself, cried the BFG, tipping the neck of the enormous bottle toward her. Don't you have a cup? Sophie said. No cups, only bottle. Sophie opened her mouth. And very gently, the BFG tipped the bottle forward and poured some of the fabulous frobscottle down her throat. And oh gosh, how delicious it was! It was sweet and refreshing. It tasted of vanilla and cream, with just the faintest trace of raspberries on the edge of the flavor. The bubbles were wonderful. Sophie could actually feel them bouncing and bursting all around her tummy. It was an amazing sensation. It felt as though hundreds of tiny people were dancing a jig inside her and tickling her with their toes. It was lovely. Alrighty, so that's Frobscottle, so let's go ahead and make it. This recipe is quite interesting. It contains ingredients that I wouldn't necessarily pair together or think of. So it has kiwi fruit, raspberry drinking yogurt, lemonade, and cream soda. We need eight kiwi fruits. So on the box of kiwi, it said that you could just cut this like this, and then take a spoon and scoop the kiwi out. And that does seem to work pretty well. I'm gonna place my kiwi into my blender here. I think I might give this a little cut first. To our pitcher of kiwi, we're gonna add the juice of one and a half limes. I don't own a citrus creamer, I just like using a fork. I think I learned this from Emeril Lagasse. You just fork the citrus and it works great. You stick the fork in there and just twist and it's great. I wonder how that guy's doing. Remember, bam. That was like the Food Network in its infancy, right? Quite the showman, Emerald Agassi. Now we're gonna puree this in our blender. It's gonna be a little bit loud, puree. Now we're gonna strain out the seeds. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. Reminds a little bit of dragon fruit. Work this through our sieve so we can get the nice green pulp out. Now we've got this beautiful green puree. Next, the recipe calls for four ounces of raspberry flavored drinking yogurt. I'm using kefir, which is a cultured yogurt-like drink, and this is the raspberry flavor. I'm gonna add four ounces of that, which is a half a cup. Mix that. Next, we're gonna add eight ounces of lemonade, which is one cup. Is it true in the UK that lemonade is fizzy? Here in the US, lemonade is flat. Let me know, British friends. Yum. Okay, and finally we're gonna add 12 ounces of cream soda. I think the last time I had cream soda is when I made butter beer. I'll put the link down below. Yeah, it smells like butterscotch. Mm. It's actually pretty good, very sweet. It tastes like vanilla, okay. Add 12 ounces of that, which is one and a half cups. Gotta love fizzy drinks. All right, there it is. Because in the BFG they only drink it out of a bottle, I'm going to decant some of it into a glass bottle. This is an old Worcestershire bottle my husband found on a beach. Carefully pour that into there. That makes it feel more magical, I think. So let's give our homemade props cuddle a taste. 
Cheers. Mmm. It's actually delicious. Mmm. It has a really pronounced kiwi flavor. I mean, there are eight kiwis in there, but I didn't think it would be taste so kiwi. And it's nice and tangy. The lemon juice, the lime juice, the little bit of kefir in there. And the kiwi all blend to make a really nice tangy drink. It does have a little bit of body and viscosity to it because we use the fruit puree and a little bit of yogurt. And there's just a tiny bit of fizz from the cream soda. I was a little bit concerned that this would be a little too sweet because the cream soda is very sweet and we added some lemonade, but it's not. It's got a very refreshing zinginess to it. And a little bit of fizz. It's like a delicious smoothie. I love it. Mm-hmm. Very refreshing and not overly sweet. Absolutely delightful and I agree with the BFG. Drinking a beverage out of a glass bottle is the way to go. Mm. Mm. Although this bottle is more appropriate for like a hot sauce bottle, I think, <laughs> rather than a nice fizzy drink. I do have this bottle as well. This I believe was an old whiskey bottle. Another bottle my husband found and this is Wilson's Distillery. So maybe this was whiskey. It does look like a bit like a flask, but let's try it out of that. Mmm, equally delicious. Mm hmm That's actually easier to drink because you have a better grip on the bottle. Yum! So there you have it, the BFG's Frab Scottle. If there are any other recipes in that book that you'd like to see me make, do chime in in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, subscribe, like, and I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye!